Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Sports Gambling Daily for January 14th. It is a Tuesday. My name is Jared. That is Philly over there. Joe's got the morning off. And uh, guys, we're going to be talking about Utah Jazz taking on the Brooklyn Nets. We got Utah minus one in this matchup. Um, on the road, we got Brooklyn back with Kyrie Irving. Utah on a nine game winning streak. Brooklyn. They've run off two in a row after just getting crushed for about a better half uh, part of a week or so. Um, all right. With Kyrie back in the lineup, they just blew out the Atlanta Hawks. Do you see them carrying that momentum versus a good defensive jazz team, Philly? <laughs> yeah, that yeah. I mean, the line is a little strange. I mean, obviously, Kyrie coming back is, is uh, he's a nice player. Um, th- mm-hmm. This team plays totally different with him. Um, and I don't know that Atlanta really – that game gives you much of anything as far as where they're at. I, I, I'm very curious to see what Brooklyn is now again, because when he was in the lineup, it was a lot of isolation and him doing his thing. And when he was out and Dinwiddie was running the show, it was mm-hmm. more getting the team involved. Um, Utah's playing gr- really good basketball. Uh, frankly, I mean, they seem to play better at home, but I just think that they have too much. And I don't know that they could compete with, Utah on the glass. Brooklyn's been getting beat up on the glass. Um, yeah. And the, the Jazz are, you know, with Gobert and some of those other guys, are they're tough interior. And, frankly, they've been playing well. They added Jordan Clarkson. He's given some some score and punch off the bench. And if, and if um, Donovan Mitchell plays, I mean, then they got their full complement of guys. I, I'm i leaning Utah, man. It's a virtual pick them, frankly. Yeah, I like Utah in this matchup as well at minus one. So, I was, I was watching that Brooklyn versus Atlanta game, and I was – they actually had a clip of uh, the coach for the Nets. And they said, hey, look, they're not expecting much this year. And they, 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 are, they said that this year is all about just getting everybody enough experience uh, playing together because they are all in next year. Well, I guess when Durant comes back and, uh, you know, so they're, they're just looking for situational uh, or just basically situations – to uh, get better and have, get a certain experience this year. So, um, which I, I kind of threw me off a little bit because I didn't realize that. I mean, yeah, I, I get it. They're not expecting to win the East, but they have been playing well at times. So, uh, I guess maybe they felt they started saying that after that losing streak they were on. Um, yeah. To try to relieve some of the pressure. But, you know, they're all in next year. This year, this is just basically a learning curve for them. Um, you know, with Kyrie back, this is going to be a much tougher competition than they had in the first game. He was back with U- uh, with Utah. So, um, yeah, give me – I mean, with uh, when they played uh, Atlanta. So, yeah, give me Utah in this matchup. And um, I'd like to know down in the comments, do you like Utah or do you like Brooklyn in this matchup? Definitely, guys. And if you uh, enjoy the content, you know, please subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and we will move on to the uh, next video. Yeah, we got Houston Rockets taking on the Memphis Grizzlies. Let's go, Rockets, baby. <laughs> we'll see yeah. y'all next. Uh, we'll see y'all in the next video. <laughs>